Puerto Barras in Chile, we traveled by boat and bus across the Andes to Bariloche in Argentina. From there we made our way slowly by bus up the eastern flank of the Andes to the northwest corner of Argentina. We then crossed into Bolivia and went by train and bus across the Altiplano to the legendary city of Potosí. Volcano up there somewhere. The There's a man here who wants to hitch a ride. Keep an eye out for the classic sailor's blunder. We now have taken this bus route here, second bus, which is about here. We're about to enter Argentina. We've already gone through the Chile Customs. We then take another boat ride here, a short bus ride, that's bus number three, then boat ride number three, and then bus number four, San Carlos de Barrio. Barolochi, otherwise known as Pilariki.
The Argentinian peso had just been devalued and we had no idea whether we had enough money to pay for dinner. It turned out to be very cheap. Another South American train that goes nowhere in particular, thanks to the policies of the World Bank, we had to take a bus. From Bariloche, it was a bus journey of two days and a night via Neuquén up through the eastern flank of the Andes through the wine growing area of Mendoza to San Juan. A monument to Juan Perón reads, We are working to realize what you dreamt of. This is the modern and busy shopping mall in San Juan, Argentina, looking north, looking west. Looking south, looking east, it is siesta time. From San Juan, we visited the dramatic lunar landscapes of two parks. These are ferns which were laid down in sediment about 80 million years ago. Heavy? Don't you dare.
San Juan, it was another long overnight and a day bus journey via Cordoba and Tucumán to the northern city of Salta. From Salta, we travelled to the small town of Cafayate. A memorial shrine erected over the remains of a motor car. Ruins of Kilmaze. The Kalchaki Indians lived here before the Incas arrived. They were extinguished by the Spaniards. These wines are produced from vineyards at 2,000 meters above sea level. The local Eladeria serves ice cream made from red cabernet and the excellent white local grape 
Torrontes. Is it good, Jenny? Is it good? traveled up another valley onto the Altiplano to San Antonio de los Cobres. From there we dropped down into another valley to the town of Purnamaca before making our way slowly up to the border town of La Quiaca. No sabes en la época. Sí, no sabes en primavera cuando están los terremotos. o borato de calcio, que es lo que nosotros llamamos borax, ¿sí? Fuimos a hacer a Cafayate, sí que fueron varios de ustedes. Eh, vimos un poquitito, bueno, esta formación que tienen. ¿Ven cómo está enterrada esa montaña? ¿Sí? ¿Saben qué? Todo eso estaba cubierto por un mar en realidad. A la orilla del mar, ¿qué teníamos? Teníamos Vista. playas, ¿no es cierto? ¿Qué sucedió cuando se elevaron estas montañas? Cementerios de altura. ¿Qué es lo que pueden ver ahí a la mano izquierda? Que uno se tiene que ir del mundo de la manera que llega. Un poco más duras, eh, debido a la presencia del granito, que piensan de que tenemos un nuevo ángel en el cielo. Erosión del, del viento, las líneas horizontales. ¿Sí? No solamente este tipo de erosión vamos a poder ver en esta zona. de acá, Ajá. donde vamos a ir hoy a la tarde. Y aparte de esto, ¿sí? 
viven las mujeres sobre todo de todo Está el lugar donde podés sacar combustible de acá. Vamos por acá. Vamos por acá. Hablamos de la salina. No podemos poner en una trilcita. A pre-Columbian fortress dominated the landscape around Tilcara.
cuerpos en alto relieve. Trabajada en su totalidad en bronce, la estructura que lo cubre es de piedra arenosa roja, trae en su totalidad en el We walked across the Argentine-Bolivian border from La Quiaca de Villazón and then caught the train through the Altiplano to Uyuni. From Uyuni, we took the bus to Potosí. The station is at 3,447 meters. A train runs three times a week. Thank you.
Potosi at 4,100 meters is the world's highest city. The wealth of its ancient churches reflects the status of the city. In the late 16th century, Potosi was the fourth largest city in the world. With 160,000 inhabitants, it was larger than London. 
Almost all of these people were Indians, forced to work in the silver mines of this great red mountain, the Cerro Rico. The workers were treated with appalling cruelty, and the human cost of supplying Imperial Spain with its treasure over the next three centuries was as high as nine million lives. The silver mines are exhausted now, but miners still work extracting tin under conditions little better than those of their forebears. This mythical character is El Mascaron, the mask. Nobody knows his derivation. He adorns the Potosi Mint, which was authorized to produce coins of the realm. It was a treasury, a stronghold, and a prison.
Virgen del Cerro, in the shape of the Cerro Rico, is a fusion of the Andean earth goddess Pachamama and the Virgin Mary. The Inca symbols of the sun and the moon were also adopted into Christian imagery. Mm -hmm. 